possible. Chocolate fudge shingles. White chocolate, maybe? 15 day months. Theme. Yes, title. The episode is about time. Coming up next is It's About Dragons and It's About Fluttershy. We interrupt My Little Pony to bring you Terminator. It's not scientifically possible. Said the purple unicorn to the purple unicorn using a time spell. These plates of obscure squares trade places multiple times. Is there some sort of epic pony war in the distant future? Assuming ponies are the only species capable of war is the exact type of racism which can start wars. Twilight's back rear leg is trying to become the front rear leg. Flag appears out of thin air. Been visited by myself from the future. Dr. Hooves isn't concerned by this. And we're gonna need a montage. Remember, Pinky, righty tidy, lefty Lucy. Pinky's mane is a disaster in waiting, but thankfully only when it's straight. Berry Punch runs in fear, then instantly appears indoors. He's supposed to be guarding the gates of Tartarus. Tartarus. Also, hell is canon. I have balls stashed all over Ponyville. <laughs> because if Ponyville is lacking one thing, the animation guide layer is visible here. A unicorn leading Cerberus back to the gates of hell would be the most epic episode ever, but instead we're left with a simple fade to the next day. Another Pegasus just got back from Baltimore with an all clear and- And reports of two-legged creatures dressing up like us. This main glitch. There's a mouse right behind you! That's racist. Spike sends Twilight to Princess Celestia. This is the same background. This is the same main cut as future Twilight. Shave it off. It would take months for a main to grow back to that size. Problem solved. You want to see the future? Yes, Spike. We only spent all day trying to prevent something bad from happening in the future. That information might have been useful a few hours ago. Floating paper stack. Correct me if I'm wrong, but catadioptric lenses don't have an adjustable aperture. What is this? And how is it levitating in front of the fireplace? Monitor everything. Twilight works for the NSA. Twilight puts down this quill, but it's still moving. Stop time! Couldn't the disaster just happen once time is resumed? Or did Twilight actually intend to put existence as we know it on pause permanently? Where have Pinky's mane and Spike's spines gone? What do we do? What do we do? Run in the opposite direction? Teleport? Talk your way out of it? I guess cowering like a guilty criminal works too. The ice cream is in front of the spoon here, but shouldn't be so in the mirror. Spike's ice cream continues to lick itself after he stops. If Twilight isn't levitating this scroll, then who is? This is the ultimate recycled animation sim. How can there be two knees? An excellent question. She only knew to come here because her future self told her about it. Either Equestria is guided by some all-knowing deity which keeps the timeline corrected, or the multiverse theory is canon. <laughs> yep, that's right. Thanks to this episode, all of your fan fictions are now canon. She must want me to prevent whatever horrible thing happens in the future! Many months later...